Hello, 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 world. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Y'all, day one. Day one of the two-day podcast challenge, all right? I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to be here with you. And I wanted to make sure that you knew just a few uh, housekeeping rules, a few housekeeping rules that I want to make sure that you're aware of. One is that you're going to learn something about podcasting, all right? I'm Jonathan Jones. I'm your podcast mentor, if you know it or not. And I'm excited to be here with you, to be diving in, to be rocking, for us to talk a little bit more about podcasting, all right? So whatever questions you have, make sure that you just... You just stay tapped in. Drop them in the comments. Let me know where you're tapping in from. Let me know where you're at. Uh, and let me know a little bit about your business. Because tonight, as we get into this podcasting conversation, I want you to know that you're going to take away something. Okay? You're going to take away something before our time is done. All right? So go ahead. Drop in the comments. Where, where are you tapping in from? Where are you at? I want to know. Uh, because I want to know who I'm talking to. So let, let me know, and we might give you a little shout out in the comments. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we got Sister Brumfield. What's going on, DBN family in the house? What up, what up, what up? Glad to see you, glad to see you, glad to see you. All right, y'all, all right, let's go ahead. I'm going to drop this link right here. We are live for a podcast challenge. All right, so here we go. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, uh, the first thing I want to know, I want to break down is in day one. Day one is essential for me explaining to you why it is so imperative that you have your podcast. All right, it's so imperative for me breaking down why you have your podcast. Why is that? All because you having a podcast is your way to connect with the audience at a greater level than anywhere else okay than anywhere else john why is that why is that let me go ahead and show you let me go ahead and show you look i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen because we're gonna do a little bit of teaching tonight but i want to share my screen because i want you all to see some things uh that i'm gonna be breaking down for you just as we go through our time but first and foremost the first reason why you need to have a podcast right the first reason is gonna be this reason right here okay so look Okay, let me go ahead and get this big. Boom. So the first reason why you need to have a podcast, this number right here. So there are only 4,249,683 podcasts, all right? Some of y'all might say, John, that's a large number. But wait, here's why it's not a large number. Let me scroll a little bit further. In the past 30 days, we're going to go right here. In the past 30 days, which is a month, right? There have only been 300,000 that have posted episodes. What does that mean? For one, that means if we have over 4 million podcasts that are in the quote unquote index, right? That's like saying there's 4 million books in the library. But the real fact of the matter is if there's only 300,000 that have posted in the last 30 days, that means almost Oh, almost, almost 4 million of them are not even active. Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? So that means that this is a lower barrier for entry. Why is this a lower barrier for entry? This is a lower barrier for entry because there's over a billion Instagram pages. There's over a billion Facebook pages. There's over a billion uh, TikTok pages. So this gives you the highest opportunity for discoverability. If, if y'all still rocking with me, let, let me know. Let me know in the comments. If you're still rocking with me, let me know in the comments because I want to make sure that, 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 that we're aware that I just dropped a bomb on you just then. I, I, just dropped a, I just dropped a bomb on you right there. You know what I'm saying? I just dropped a little bomb bomb on you. But anyway, let, let, me, let, 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 me, let me get focused. Let me, let me go to the slides. Let me go to the slides. Let me go to the slides. So for day one, day one, I want us to be focused. I want us to lock in. Let me go ahead and get my full screen. Okay, so this is day one of the challenge. So look, now the, the question I want you to ask yourself is, what is the purpose of my podcast, right? What is the purpose of my podcast? And the reason why I want to ask you that is there can be multiple purposes for your podcast. The first one is you just are doing this podcast for fun. 
Is there anybody here? Let me stop sharing for a second. I want to see. Is, is there anybody in the room who's just doing a podcast? You want to do it for fun? Talk to me in the talk to me in the comments. You 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 want to start a podcast? You want it just to be for fun? Uh, you want to be able to, uh, you know, just 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 do it for fun. Have conversations. Kick it with friends. Is, is that anybody in the room? Give me a thumbs up or give me give me some give me something down in the comments. Right? Is that anybody? That they just want to do a podcast for fun. What's up, Higher Heights Group? I see you. I see you. I see you. What's up, Super Dre? I see you. I see you. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, some people want to do it for fun. And that's perfectly fine. Right? That's perfectly fine. However, however, if we are doing the podcast to where we want to get paid. Because this is the two-day podcast challenge showing you how you can monetize your message. If we want to get paid, somebody give me some dollar signs in, in the chat. Give me some dollar signs in the chat, right? So I, I, I want you to get clear on this. I want you to get clear. No, I want to make an impact. That's what I'm talking about, Super Dre. I like that. Super Dre said, no, nah, I'm trying to make an impact. This ain't just for fun. I'm trying to make an impact. I'm, I'm here for that. I'm here for that. Y'all, and if you're getting value, go, go ahead and like the video. Go ahead and like the video. Like the video and go ahead and share it with one other friend that you know could benefit from this content we're talking about tonight. So look, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Okay, let me go ahead and share back a screen. So look, you can want to do it for fun. That's okay. That's not what I teach. But then there's the other side to where you can do it for the passion, right? Because you're passionate about this certain topic, right? You're passionate about a certain topic. So therefore, you want to further that influence, that impact because you want more people to know about the work that you're doing. Maybe it's real estate. Maybe it's you're a speaker and you want to get in front of more eyes. Maybe it's you're somebody who's in the spot in the position to where you're saying, hmm, I want more people to know and understand what my product is and what I teach and what I talk about. So therefore, I'm a dig on the passion. Is that anybody? Right. Is that a passion? Or maybe you're mission focused. John, what, what, what's mission focus? What, what's that all about? Mission focus means that you have a goal to help. I'm, I'm just going to stick with the real estate example. You have a goal to help a thousand people purchase their first home, right? So then after, after that goal or that mission has been accomplished, now either you can create another one or you can wipe your hands and be done, Right? So that's somebody who has a mission focus for their podcast, a mission focus for their platform, or you want to be the authority in your industry. We've heard different people say it. We've heard people talk about thought leaders. We've heard different people talk about experts. But who in the room wants to be the authority? You want to own a space. You want people to know and look and say, oh, wow. When I think of real estate, I think of Super Dre, right? When I think of selling, I think of X person, right? So we have to get clear on that first. And that's why I'm breaking this down on day one, because I want you to get really clear on that. I want you to begin to assess and ask yourself, do I want to do this for the authority? Let's, let me go back. Do I want to do this for fun? If you want to do it for fun, get you a mic. You can go on Amazon, buy you any mic on Amazon. You can set it up and you can just record, right? Because you're doing it for fun. But if you're doing it for passion, that's a little bit deeper, right? You're, you're, you're motivated by this thing. You want to move. You want to make an impact. You want to create a goal. But then if you're mission focused, you have to hit the mission. If you don't hit the mission, you'll feel upset. You'll feel frustrated. And then lastly, if you want to be the authority of a thing, like you really like, wait, I want to be, I, I want to be that person, right? When they think of this area, when they think of this arena, I got to be that person. If that's you, I'm picking up what you're putting down. You know what I'm saying? I'm picking up what you're putting down. And then lastly, right? There's one more. There's one more. There's one more. There's one more. Ooh. Lastly, the money. 
Is anybody trying to is anybody trying to get paid? If you're trying to get paid, just just type pay me in the chat. If you're trying to get paid, just type pay me in the chat. Pay me in the chat. And the reason why we have to be clear about this up front. We have to be clear about this up front, because if we're not, then we're already going to be setting ourselves up for failure. Because if we don't have money in mind, then we're not going to get to money. Hello. OK, so we want to think about that and we want to make sure that that is in the forefront of our mind. Y'all rocking. Are we rocking? Are we rocking? Are we rocking? Are we rocking? OK, so now we got that clear. Right now we got that clear. The next thing that we must identify. I see you, Ruth. Pay me. Super Dre, pay me. I see you. Pay me. Y'all look, now we got that clear. OK, so so y'all y'all trying to make money. OK, good, good. OK, so we got the first part. We're already clear. We're already good on the first part. Good. So the next thing we got to ask ourselves is who is our show for? Who is our show? If you know who your show is for, tell me there. Tell me who they are in the in the comments. Are 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 they are they real estate investors? Are they podcasters? Are they coaches? Are they consultants? Are they speakers? Are they educators? Who is your audience? Somebody tell me in the chat. Who is your audience? Who is your audience? Who is your audience? Who is your audience? Come on. I need to know. I need to know. Who is your audience? Talk to me in the chat. Who is your audience? Who is your audience? Okay. Because we, if we haven't taken the time to identify who our audience is, the first part is this. The first part is this. One, they could be either who you were one, two, uh, two months ago, two years ago, or, right, or they could be who you have become, right? So a previous version of yourself, right? So look, take a quick second, take a quick second, and I want you to consider who is your audience, who is your audience? Who are they? Who are they? Who are they? Who are they? Because if we don't know, I see you, Greg Ratcliffe, parents, sports fans. Okay. Great, great, great. Because if we don't know who they are, then how are we going to get to them? How are we going to know the language that we need to use? Right? Y'all, am, am I am, am I freezing? If I'm freezing up on your side, j j just let, let me know in the chat. Because I want to make sure that we're, we're good. I want to make sure that we're flowing. I want to make sure that we're good. I want to make sure we're good. Okay, so. So, okay, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So in terms of identifying that target audience, how do we do that, John? How do I identify my target audience? How do I identify my target audience? We go right here. First things first, first things first, you need to identify who needs to hear your message first. Good, Super Dre, good, good. You need to identify who needs to hear your message first, right? If you're taking notes, write this down. Who is the person that needs to hear your message first? That's first. Secondly, we need to identify what problem will my podcast solve? What problem will my podcast solve, right? What am I helping people with? What am I helping them overcome, right? If, if you're somebody like Ruth said, unbelievers, well, in Ruth's case, she would want to go where unbelievers are, right? And then she would want to share that content with them. But first, it's going to start by her recording that content on her platform, right? Recording that content on her platform. And then we're going to ask ourselves, where do these people hang out? 
the people that I desire to reach, where do they hang out? Are, are they at the movies? Are they at the mall? Are they at the library? Are they at the church? Are they at the bookstore? Are they at the coffee shop? Are they a happy hour? Where are these people? The people that I desire to reach, where are they? And then we want to begin to think, well, I, after I know where they're at, after I know what they're facing, after I know what their challenges are, right? We want to know what magazines they're reading, what podcasts they listen to, what shows they watch. We want to know all of these things. And then these things will help us be able to really nail them down. And then if we find one of them, we'll find two of them. And if we find two, then we'll find four. If we find four, we'll find 16. Is this making sense? If this is making sense, let me know down in the chat. Let me know down in the chat if this is making sense. Let me know down in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. All right, all right. And then look. Then the fourth question we have to ask ourselves, what skill or experience do I have within the subject, right? And we're asking ourselves based on, right? We're asking ourselves this based on the people that we desire to help through our show, right? What skill do I have? What experience do I have? And we want to know this because why? Why do we want to know this? We want to make sure that we know this because then we can lean into it. This is something that we can leverage. Because the skill set that you have as somebody who's in real estate, you can help all newbies that desire to learn more about real estate, that desire to get into the real estate market. Right? Would you agree? Yeah. Okay, so understanding that, understanding that, this is now what I want you to be focused on, right? Because I asked you earlier, what's the purpose? What's the purpose of your podcast? What's the purpose of your podcast? But this is what I really want you to get into. This is what I really want you to get into, okay? Now, you need to begin to identify this right here need to begin to identify what is your selfish purpose for your podcast some of y'all said make money some of y'all said make an impact that's great but we need to get really clear on what our selfish purpose is for our podcast what is our selfish purpose for the platform right you might want to be able to generate revenue so you can get off the job. You might be able, you might want to create your podcast, build the authority so that people will come to you for coaching, for consulting, to be able to get trained by you, for you to speak to their group, for you to educate, right? If you're taking notes, write this down. What is your selfish purpose for your podcast? selfish i want you to be selfish on this one i don't want you to think about what everybody else needs they're going to get what they need i need you to identify what you need to get out of this thing okay and then we got to get really clear on who's our show for is it for men is it for women is it for single parents is it for divorced parents is it for married couples is it for entrepreneurs is it for wives is it for husbands is it for teens? Is it for college students? And then once we begin to get clear on it like that, we want to go a layer deeper. If we say it's for college students, then we want to say, well, okay, it's for college students. Well, hmm. I actually would love to talk specifically to freshman college students. And you say, I actually would love to talk to 18-year-old freshman female college students. And once we get that clear, right, we drill down that much within this thing, that's when we get to the place to where we begin to say, hmm, now I can get, get some real clarity, okay? 
Now I can get real clarity. And then the last thing you want to begin to ask yourself is, how can I help my listener achieve a goal? How can I help my listener achieve a goal? Is it going to be through you telling them stories? Is it going to be through you giving them examples? Is it going to be through you taking the time to break down real tangible stories? Is it going to be you interviewing different people that you've already coached and worked with and helped? We need to get clear on what goal we're helping them ultimately achieve. And the reason why we have to get clear on that, because we want to be in the position to where we look up and we say, oh, wow. They started at square one. Now they're at square five. I was able to help them get clarity within their life, within their business.